Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So today I'm coming on to do a flip through of my little Tim Holtz accordion Halloween journal. I've just finished it yesterday so um, I've sewn in the signatures this morning ready to show you. So it measures uh, 6 and one eight by 4 inches. Okay. It's, I'd say, 95% Tim Holtz. There's some other ephemeral little bits of tags and um, that I bought a kit from Tracy Fox Love Junk Journals. It was one of her um, kits that went lovely with Tim Holtz. Um, but all the ephemera, it's all Tim Holtz. Like these little flowers aren't, but it's, I'd say, 95% of it is Tim Holtz ephemera. Yeah, it's took me a while to put together. Um, I've just been doing a couple of pages at a, a, each day to you know to try and make it look nice so on the front we've just got the little frame we've got the image there I've got lace it's I've left all my threads cottons hanging I just thought it went nice with the journal and uh, we've got these curtains at the back I've used a lot of let me just show you what I've used a lot of frosted crystal um, because a lot of the ephemera is quite shiny so I put this on and it just gets rid of that shine um, do leave me alone and then we've got the dead of the night and then we've got this little um, organza flower with a little red bead in there okay so the first page again it's just all collage it's just a collage journal really but I thoroughly enjoyed putting it together at the back here is some of his new um, Halloween college collage paper roll that's got that big flower on and then just other little bits and pieces of ephemera this is a um, gypsy fortune teller for skill and amusement only and she charges 45 cents and then i've just got this little die cut at the bottom there and then we've got the first signature there's four signatures in um there's 10 pages in each so what's that 40 per signature so that's 4 8 12 160 sides of um coffee dyed paper for you to to journal on i've just kept it plain like that and then the next page we've got this is one of his 3d embossing folders it's the numbers one i've used some purple gilding wax and i've used some gold gilding wax i've gone all over it and then i've just collaged with the ephemera and then we've just got a strange visitor here and then we've got a tag that i've stitched around this background is one of tracy fox's tag kits um, and then we've got this piece of ephemera which is about pharmacy and then i've just put poison there and then i've stitched put coffee dyed paper on the back stitched all the way around it and then just put some threads in there there's only room for one in there really okay and then we go open to the next page and we've got another frame and we've got this little girl that looks quite scary and i've just put dreadfully wicked a little bit of lace and a little butterfly i've kept that page quite clean and um, i've layered some papers underneath they've all been stitched around the pages and then this next page we've got some background paper then we've got some tim holtz paper here and again just ephemera from his halloween uh, ephemera packs i like that page the only thing i forgot to do is this here i need to go over it with some vintage photo because it's white so i'm just going to do that before i forget because once i've shut the journal just to darken it up a little bit <laughs> i don't want white it's something pinned on the back side of it that so that's that page okay and then this page we've got a pocket that i've made out of uh, one of the paper it, it's the backdrops halloween backdrops that i've used um and then just collaged on stitched around it and then again these are three tags from tracy's one of tracy's kits we've got a wonderful secret we've got this rather scary looking guy here then we've got the little girl and then we've got the raven and that says a good night's work and they just fit you can journal on the back of them they just fit into there and then this page <coughs> excuse me i've just used quite a few different papers to layer up with i've done really scruffy stitching around all the papers and then we've got the poison uh, ephemera there and then this is one of the baseboards and then we've got some paper we've got a skull and then we've just got this word here 
uh, all stitched around so that's that page and then we turn over and we've got this what's her name Elmira is a curious woman I've just done a lot of collage with different papers I've put some train time or vintage timetable these are all Tim Holtz papers and then I've got some little mushroom stickers and then we've just got one of the Halloween paper dolls and I've just put the bat wings on her and that's here and then we've got the second little signature journal which is there and then the back page we've got is the undertaker and I've just got the curious handle with Kerr uh, and then yeah is I've put him as the undertaker and then I've just made that little pocket I've stitched around it and we've just got these are Tim Holtz ephemera I've just done some stenciling on the back they just fit in there there wasn't a lot of room for lots of tags and bits because I wanted to put the little signatures in so I'll open it out properly and show you at the end so that's that page and then we're at the front of the other side so again it's just one of his baseboards a lot of collage on this background here and um, different papers a lot of stitching we've got one of the flowers from the what's it called um, the worn wallpaper pack we've got the bat we've got this rather frightening looking couple behind the front door we've got condemned and then we've got daily departed and number 13 on there and a lot of stitching and then I'm just going to open that out like that the next page I've done this as the fortune teller I've got one of his tiny little clips there and that's just a piece of ephemera from one of the I had quite a I bought quite a lot of Tim Holtz ephemera Halloween ephemera so it's all from the different I couldn't tell you off the top of my head which which kit it's from I just want to put that little you know one of his little clip tiny clips I think they're called that just sits on there can't get it on yeah that's it um yeah so there's a lot of layering underneath here we've got a little tag that I've layered up with some ephemera some lace and then this raven I've inked on the back of there and then we've just got more collage lots of layers lots of scruffy stitching and then we've got this hand uh, you know as if she's palm reading we've got the 35 cents and on this one I used chunky embossing pack clear embossing powder went over it and then inked over it and then I've just got the ghost of the departed so that's that little page and then we've got another little signature dyed paper <coughs> excuse me I kept this one quite simple this was one of the um, transparent transparencies sorry from one of the ephemera packs and then we've just got this lady some lace a little bit of collage the number 13 and then a really scruffy stitch around the outside of that page the next page we've got this lady who looks really quite scary to me we thought she was lost this is one of his papers um, I've done a scruffy pocket with stitching this is one of the Halloween paper dolls and I've used I put some of the frosted crystal on and then I used my distress crayons and went over it used my finger and a bit of water we've got the Tim Holtz Halloween washi tape we've got some lace we've got one of his words and then we've just got this tag that I have stamped on uh, sorry stenciled on and stitched around this is one of the botanicals from the worn wallpaper I think it's called and then this page we've got the physician a physician I can't say it guys physician and surgeon orders attended to day and night is toxic we've got this like clock at the top there an eccentric but very estimable gentleman and this was in with one of the transparencies this it's a um, what do we call it acetate and I've just stitched around it and layered it up that page and then we turn over and we've got a side pocket with this rather frightening looking lady what did I put on there secret black and midnight we've got a little pocket with some lace that I've inked over and then we've just got three little journaling cards undertakers it was all dark again an unfortunate ending and they go in there like that and then we've got the other little journal it's the fourth journal 
And then as we move along to the last page, we've got, just take these out, we've got this pocket with this little boy. I've used the frosted crystal on there, just lots of layering up of different bits of ephemera on this page. I've got this one at the top with the 31st, um, lots of stitching. And then I've just made three tags. This is the back of one of the packagings. It had the spider's web and I thought it was ideal. You could still journal on that. So that goes in there like that. And that is it. I think we're back at the front again. So I'll open it out this way and show you how it opens. Um, I'll sort of move it along. So we've got that page there and then that page with the little girl. <laughs> It's really difficult with the with the um, signatures in, and then we've got those pages. Close up, and then those pages. Okay, and then I'll just turn it over and I'll open it this way. So got them two, and then the little signature. And then that one. <laughs> and then we've got that one with the lady. Then the surgeon. The other signature. And then those two pages there. So that is it then guys. And do you know what? I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed putting this journal together. I am definitely going to make some more of these accordion journals. Definitely um yeah really really enjoyed i enjoyed working with the size i just enjoyed doing something different it is for sale so if you're interested i'll leave my email address in the description box just send me an email and i'll reply to you as soon as i've seen it so i hope you like it yeah um like i said i thoroughly enjoyed putting that together so as always guys thank you so much for stopping by to watch take care and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now